Hey, this is Topwater Tony. I'm going to do a little quickie install of a cigarette lighter plug. I've been messing around with these uh, video and I got a pair of contours now that I like a lot. And my boat came with one already installed here, cigarette lighter plug, which works good, or should I say works well running a wire up here to this mount for my contour on the driver's side. But now that I have two cameras, I got my second camera here, which will be facing backwards for my fishing partner. Of course, this side doesn't have a cigarette lighter plug. My choices were here, which would be in the way of my partner's poles here don't like that I would love to put it here but once I put the plug in it'd be kind of sticking out a little bit so that might be in the way of these poles over here so looks like I'm gonna go with a hidden area in the glove box and put it right here. So the plug will go in. Like so. The wire will come up to the camera here on the windshield. And it'll be out of the way. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm just going to make a couple of reference marks here. Top. Side. Bottom. Not very good on side there. But we see it's right here. Have to be exact. But we'll say the middle is right about here. Boom. Okay, we're going to make a pilot hole right on the mark. This stuff is really thin, so it goes right in. Chuck in the hole saw, which is a inch and one eighth, which is perfect for the round part of the cigarette light lighter plug. Let's get that in there. Put it on your pilot hole. Oops. Take a little test fit here. Boom. We're in there. Let's get my marker back out. Mark the little holes. To hold her down. I can 
frequency. By the way, the last step, which I'm not going to show, is just hooking up these two leads here. The middle one is your power, and the one out on the outside is the negative. Just run that over to your fuse box or your battery, depending on um, what type of setup you have. Oops. like that for, for a while. Like I mentioned, this glove box is awful thin, so more than likely these are these holes are going to strip out and uh, they'll be replaced with a screw and a or a nut and a bolt. Put a nut on the back of it. Keep it nice and secure. So there it is. It'll be just like that cord runs up to the contour and everything will be nicely placed. Like I said, just hook up your two wires, positive and negative, and you'll be good to go. That's all there is to it. Okay, underneath we got the back side of the cigarette lighter plug. You see the leads connected and they run to the front passenger rod locker and through the middle one. to the driver's side rod locker and then underneath to the fuse box and that's a mess but hey it works <clears throat> and of course we got <clears throat> the power, I don't know if you can see the power light but it is on so that means it will be charging and producing power for the camera or whatever else you want to plug in here cell phone, whatever. And like I said before, this glove box material is pretty thin, so these screws will probably strip out at some point. If they do, I'll just replace them with a nut and a bolt 
it's no big deal. But there it is. Installation complete. Didn't take very long. Hardest part was kind of routing the wires through existing holes that I already had in there. But not too bad. Anybody can do it. Well, until next time, next video, I will catch you later.